Good morning. So glad to be back again this morning to be teaching you lemons florery. I hope you have already practiced what I have taught you yesterday on lemons and the citrus fruit flower. And I also cut the lemon to teach you the inside of the lemons yesterday. So for today's lessons, I'm going to teach you how to pin this whole wreath. And I'm going to teach it freehand, which means I'm not going to draw it out. But based on this, and let's start going. I'm using an A4 paper. Right, so my for my planning, let me see. Okay. I alright. If I'm going to paint something like this, alright, exactly this way. Before you start, you actually need to plan a little bit. So my lemon will probably be here. So we have also discussed about the colors, right? So this is the colors I'm going to use. And we are using quite a bit of color. So we need to prepare beforehand the amount of yellow that we need. I'm preparing some yellow here. So the colors that you need, these two and the green which is on my palette. So just get ready. Okay, it's going to be somewhere here, my lemon. I'm using a number six again. Because as I mentioned, Kolinsky Sable number six is quite a big quite a big size. So I would prefer to use a six than an eight for this one. So let's start. We just get the shape of the lemon. Just watery. Okay. You can't go wrong with lemon because the shape is not that difficult. My this lemon is a little bit plum. <laughs> Alright, so we have the yellow. And I'm going to add in this. Yesterday we have done before, so... Let's go. Here. I give a bit here. So this will be the highlight area. So while it is still wet, I'm going to get my green. I have it dirty a little bit. Because I didn't want my brush to get any water. So if I wash it, my brush will get water instead. And then it may get this part here my spoil. So I rather have a little bit dirty colors. No, so for the shadow. So I have my first lemon done. Let me see. Uh, Alright. Because if I'm going to follow this, I will have I will have a half lemon. So I will paint my this uh, okay. I will paint my This lemon, open up one first. Cut lemon, rather. So it is a bit over. Like this, okay? <laughs> this lemon has been cut, like, since yesterday. And I'm using back the yellow for the skin of the lemon. And let's uh, use a lighter
a lighter color to just draw this don't worry too much about the shape okay Yesterday I drew it with pencil, so I have pencil lines. So, but today I'm going to go direct with just drawing it with my brush. Okay, some angle, angering that we need to deal with. But uh, okay, this is not a very precise. So I need to paint the inside with yellow. Very quickly. <laughs> Actually, I prefer uh, to use the brush to paint it because then I won't see so much of the pencil line. Okay, yesterday we discussed also that we need to add in more paint here, which I will use the Capnian yellow dip to create that color. It will be a bit, quite a different piece from this one because this one I kind of design my idea first and then I paint it. But this one is freehand. Actually, the freehand one is quite enjoyable. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm going to add more pin here to create the color and the shading. I'll be using the green also for the shadow. And some green inside here too. Alright, so I have finished this. Let me see how much space I have. Okay, and right, I think it's dry, the lemon, so I can add on the details, which I mentioned that we will need a bit of yellow ochre here. So I'm going to paint the stock. And as I'm painting this, I will paint the leaves as well. So referring to this, okay? It's actually so much easier to paint the leaves without the trace uh, without the pre-draw because there's a lot of restriction for me so I need to fill in the paint that kind of thing you see but this one I just use my leaf stroke which I taught you guys how to use the leaf stroke so later on I will have a lemon here okay I will have a lemon there and I will add in two leaves. And I will have a lighter color. I am going to paint a turn leaf here. So I will have a lighter color first. Okay, not too light. The lighter one. I, I think I'll use the set green. The set green is lighter a little bit. And I'll use some yellow.
Just wait for it to dry before we could add on. And now I'm going to paint the flowers. Maybe the citrus fruit buds first. I'm going to use a bit of pink because uh, for aesthetic reason. Because the color will look more interesting, brighter. So my flower bud is here. It's a long one. Okay, remember how you work for this is two leaf stroke. Okay, one, two. While it is wet, I would like to add in a bit of green. And okay, I'm going to wash because I want to wrap it up with a clean green. Okay, not forgetting that I have a lemon here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to paint that lemon before I forget. Paint that lemon. <laughs> Add in the yellow. So you have to plan somewhere here, my lemon. If you are not confident in painting freehand, I suggest that you just draw it out first for the first time. And when you are more confident, you can work freehand just like me and you will see that it's really very enjoyable <gasps> to paint freehand wet on wet. Okay, with this, I will add in the shading. Okay, I hope by now you kind of have a bit of understanding that anything that is behind Okay, this lemon is behind the leaf, so I add in some shading. Even here, it's behind this lemon. So if it's not enough, I just add on a bit more reddish or green. So your palette should have all the colors ready for you to add on. Okay, I think my brush has a bit of water. So I'm also adding in some yellow ochre. Okay, so we have this almost done. Okay, let me check. Okay, the flowers. The flowers. Let's work on this. Join this up. And I'm going to work on these drop citrus flowers over here. Probably uh, a little bit change of angle. Or maybe I have it here. Alright, so... Alright, so uh, light, very light pink again. Those on my palette, I will use. This is my center one. So I have the two sides. And then I just quickly wash and have a bit of green to wrap up. Add over here for the green. So, yeah, right now I think the colors looks very refreshing. And okay, I'm gonna add on some more. Mm, let me check. I think I will like to spread it over here because if I frame it this way, or I don't even need to frame, I will have some flowers here. We will have a, some change in our format. So I would like to have it more here.
and just wash because I'm teaching this citrus fruit so I go and do a quick research on how to paint these flowers and it's really very fun to paint this and also very refreshing for me about this flower because usually I paint roses, open flowers and I seldom paint flowers like this. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's really fun for me also to learn something different while I'm, learn, while I'm, I'm teaching, you see? While you're teaching, you learn something. Okay, this part here didn't turn out very nice, but I will work on them after it is fully dry. And uh, okay, now I will work on the open up flowers like this one. This one need to draw, so I'm not working on that yet, but I'm pin I'm intend to paint something like this to open up. So with the pink flower. We spread here. Let me see. Maybe I will have it here instead. On my right side. Right hand side. Pink. And a bit of yellow. So we are painting it something like a five petal floral, except that it's thinner. Okay, the petals are thinner, not as like plum. Add a bit of green and yellow to it. And after this, I need to wait for it to dry. So while waiting for it to dry, I'll add on details for my other flowers. Okay, the green here keep disappearing, so I just want to add it on. Okay. Now let's go to my this lemon. I'm adding in more sh uh, shadow to it. It's a little bit drier now. Here, the shadow also. Yeah, so it's actually quite interesting to have one very uh, yellow lemon and one lemon that's not very ripe. But of course, this lemon can't be on the tree because of this cut lemon here. <laughs> it's just uh, a design. Okay, now I'm going to add in. We talk about the turn petals like this. So I'm going to deal with this now because it's dry already. So... It will be good for you to have an idea somewhere here is the fold. So I'm going to pin Just keep that fold and have this darken So can you see the fold now? Okay, over here I will have it this way So my fold is here. Here's the fold. And I will have more shading here. Add in a bit more sap green. It's brighter. Okay, as for this one, just a small fold. So instead of drawing, when I have it draw in pencil, I yeah, have to paint this part first and I paint this. Yeah, so now I'm going into creating that fold now. I add some colors, I mean add some green to make it more interesting. Okay, even for the fold here, 
you need to have some shading so that way it will be more interesting to your fold here more colors I'll handle this later on let me see okay uh, right even for this I can make it into a fold So once you know about this technique, it's actually it's going to add a lot of interest to your floral wreath with leaves that is uh, have a fold and leaf that is just flat. Okay. Now I'm adding in the tailing part. I can actually change into a smaller brush but I think because of the sharp tip of the brush I'm able to paint this so if your brush has no sharp tip like this you will probably need a smaller number two or a fine liner right okay this one I think is not dry yet now I can go back to this in fact when I look at this now um, right I'm pretty happy with it. Just thinking, should I have some more? Okay, I think I will have... Okay. Getting a bit of lighter green. I'm spreading the floral reef a little bit because this is a I kind of frame it this way but this one I may not be framing it it's up to you all right now we are back to the flowers <laughs> okay I need a green to add on okay So because it is dropping this way, I will let it drop this way too. So the flower is actually dropping this way. Alright, so. The center of the flower needs to have more depth, so I'm adding in a bit more red. Sometimes if you don't want this line to be more distinct, you can just wash it away lightly with water so it won't show so distinctly. Okay, maybe with a little bit more green in the center. And okay, let me just kind of uh, link it or else the flower is like dropping from nowhere. And we actually need more leaves if there's a flower there. So I need the leaves. Just a darker color will do. I need some leaves to sew here. Okay. 
I just want it to be darker. Side green will make it a bit brighter. Okay, so over here, I make it a little bit busier. <laughs> I'm going, okay, I just saw this part here that I don't quite like. So I use my brush to just clean off the brush marks so that it's smoother a little bit. And over here, I just, okay, it's a little bit white. So I just do a slight glazing. My brush actually still have a bit of yellow. So yeah, so it won't be so white in the center. Okay, just like this and okay, I'm adding in just some colors to strengthen it the color strengthen it so that it won't look that pale <laughs> in the center it worked quite well for me after adding in that color which is yellow ochre And you can see the whole floral rib is coming out in about, uh, yes, I have painted about 20, 28 minutes so far. I'm going to finish it soon. So, well, hope you have learned something from this class also. So, I will be using the Indian yellow gouache. You can use acrylic paint to do that and if you really have no acrylic or gouache just wait for this to be dry and just use your cadmium yellow to paint this so it's, it's possible so with this color add-on it's very vibrant a lot more interesting yeah, over here too. And I think we have almost finished except for some details. Yeah, I'm going to end it soon. Here, I just change into a smaller brush. Add a darker color. This is dry or so. I should add a bit of shadow here, so I'm adding in with Capnum Yellow. So this is called wet on dry technique. Just using my number 6 again to blend this. And I'm pretty happy with this one. Okay, I think I'm going to add a bit more colour. So we have this lemon reef almost done. But I think I would like to frame it up. <laughs> so I'm using a paper. I'm using a paper and a number two brush. Maybe a number four. If you have a flat brush, you can actually... I think I need a bigger paper then. Okay, I'm going to just frame it up this way. So I use my pencil, no, let me see, I frame it here first. I do a marking. So I'm using a paper to frame this, just like what I've done. So in case you're wondering how I do this, I'm, I just use a piece of paper as a backing. 
like a ruler like that and I use a yellow a watery yellow if you have number two brush a number four or a number two flat brush it will be good I have but uh, I didn't take it out so let's measure again and okay I will frame it this way so I hope you can see yes I think you can it need not to be very accurate that's the whole thing so I won't even suggest that you use a marker <laughs> use a brush don't use a marker it's more natural this way so then I will draw up and you can actually add in some orange and some green the part has come kind of dry up let me check okay good you can still add in some green Yeah, but not too much I guess <laughs> right so now is this part here so we have to gauge a bit I want my framing to be here okay never mind I should have a framing until here so let's do it again Okay, your brush need to be wet so it uh, but not too wet wet enough for it to flow this way I'm just adding in some green this time perhaps some cadmium yellow too the cadmium yellow will make it stronger brighter a bit Okay, so there you go. I have this and another side. I think I should frame here first. Here. Let's do it. It's more greenish this one. Let's have more yellow. <laughs> okay. I'm actually standing now so it's a bit uncomfortable. <gasps> okay, good. And we'll add some orange. Okay, you see that I didn't uh, like to do the masking because then it will be too strict and maybe not what I want, not so natural as I said. But those of you who like perfect lines, you can do masking. But I still wouldn't suggest using, using a marker. Let's add in a bit more. Okay. <laughs> I decided to add in a bit red also. Because my flower is a bit pinkish. Here, it doesn't look so nice, so I'm going to just work a little bit to blend it nicely.
and we'll finish. What do you think? Maybe I should have some leaves, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sometimes after finishing, you probably would like to add something. I'm going to add a, a more leaves here. So it will protrude out, which will make it more interesting. Because only the stalk is protruding out. It's not so nice. And if you do a research on this uh, citrus fruits, you will see that they actually has a lot of leaves. Yeah, so you can add in more leaves if you want to. I think it make it a lot more interesting that way. Yeah, so I add in more leaves. I think it looks a lot better. And even more, a few more, a few more. <laughs> okay, a few more. Yeah, I will try not to overdo it. Hmm, I think I still need a bit more. And a brighter one with uh, some yellow. Later, I'll come back to this to draw in, add on some more. This is getting a lot of leaves. Later, I'll come back to add on the veins. Okay, I have finished. I hope you enjoy this session. And uh, do go and paint some lemons. I'll see you in my next class. <laughs>